this is a quick review of a product that I've owned for many 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 years and I highly recommend it and I just bought another one I like it so much this is a uh, product is called hot logic and what this is is basically a portable oven it's a soft bag uh, with a little hole here where you can run a wire you open it up and it is a insulated uh, sort of I don't know mylar or whatever this is it reflects all the heat back in and if you look at the bottom this is a induction heater and this little heater is plastic on the bottom and metal on the top this heater draws about 45 watts um, what you can do with this is all you do is basically plug this into the wall put your food in the container zip it up and you're done let it sit there for a minimal one hour and the max time you can do is well as long as you want i mean you can go all day although i don't recommend it so i would say between one and three hours is a good time frame so what i do typically for work is you know i don't want to stand in line for the microwave i don't want to go out and eat crap food like everybody else so what i'll do is i will bring frozen vegetables and I change it up daily and some type of protein it's chicken or beef or whatever it is very healthy put it in there and I'll start it at about 9 30 because it's frozen and you can do it less than, than that amount of time and by 12 o'clock I'm done so at 12 o'clock I unplug the plug and I take the lid off and I just start eating while everybody else is standing in line for the microwave. My food comes out better than it does in the microwave because the microwave typically destroys the food. This slowly heats it to 165 degrees and keeps it at that temperature. It doesn't go above it. So it's not going to melt plastic. It's not going to set paper on fire. In fact, you can even take a frozen meal from the store in the cardboard itself right just throw it in there plug it in don't even worry about it. don't even take it out of the box and then lunchtime rolls around rip the box open take out the little tray peel off the plastic and eat your dinner and it'll be better than it was cooked in the microwave it's very hard to explain i can't i just to tell you that it works i've even tried the they have these uh, frozen meals that are cardboard on the bottom, no problem. They have frozen meals that are um, basically uh, aluminum on the bottom, no problem. Glass, no problem. Plastic, no problem. It, it just works. I've seen people make spaghetti with dry spaghetti, just drop it in the sauce, you know, break it up, drop it in the sauce, let it sit there. The spaghetti basically absorbs the water from the sauce and you have instant spaghetti. Well, it took some time, but you have spaghetti. No boiling of water. I've seen people make eggs, casseroles. I mean, they give you all kinds of, you know, recipes, obviously, but there really is no recipes. Meat, vegetables, pasta, meals, soup, sandwiches, pizza. I've made hot dogs in the buns. A little crunchy because I think I should put some water on it or something, but it was still fine wasn't uh you know a little dried out a little on the bun um oatmeal chili cheese monterey chicken ravioli like i said pasta on and on and on you can put raw meat in there i would suggest it being um defrosted because it will take a lot longer from frozen i typically put pre-cooked uh meat in there so and the vegetables are frozen so and it comes out perfect every single time. It's down to a science. I mean, that's what typically my lunch looks like right there. Very healthy. I haven't tried any, some of these other ingredients. Um, and no microwave. They have them in different colors, you know, different shapes. This model here, you can see it. This is the XP model. So the one at the top this is what I started out with. Just a zipper. You can get it in different colors. Uh, and then this is the new model, the XP, and what the difference is, is you still have your um, sealed, why is this not focusing today? This, this chamber is still sealed, and then the top is just a bag area that you can put napkins, bread, um, utensils.
utensils, whatever. An apple, because up here it doesn't, it wouldn't get hot, and then inside here it would. So you basically have your lunch. Well, so anyway, when you go to buy this, you can get this in two models. They have a 120 volt, and they also have a 12 volt. And I couldn't decide because I like to uh, run it in the car or off the solar generator here. So I'm going to show you what what it draws. It's going to show you. Plug it in. It draws a whopping 3940 watts. And it's starting to get warm already. But I couldn't decide. So what I did is I bought the old one, which I already had, and the new one. And this is the 12 volt. You'll see that this will draw 45 volts. Different than the other one. They're, they're rated to draw 45, 46 watts, 45. And it's doing the exact same thing. So if you're a trucker or you know somebody who drives all day, you could have this plugged into your cigarette lighter, start cooking around you know nine o'clock, put your food in in the morning, eight, whatever. 12 o'clock, unzip, done, you're ready to go, your food's good. If you're in an office situation, maybe get the 120 volt. Or if you're crazy like me, and you just want the option of both, it's gonna cost you, but you can get both. And I have the choice now to plug in one or the other. And it's all fit in the small container here. And that's it. I don't need to worry about cooking off grid. On grid, whatever. This little lunchbox is the best. There's clones out there made in China. I'm not going to go with it. These are the guys that came up with the idea um, originally, and then everybody's trying to copy it. I'm not trusting it, okay? I mean, I'll be honest, I did leave this plugged in all weekend one time. Did not burn down the work. <laughs> so it's safe. I'm not, I wouldn't trust a China one with that, you know. I'm sure this one's UL approved and everything else because they went to all the proper procedures. So, minimum twenty nine bucks. You can go all the way up. You get bigger ones, and you know, for families and shit like that. The one with the extra bag is probably a little more. It's a twelve volt model. I don't even know what they're charging for that, but I bought that a, a while back, and then I bought the one twenty. So I'm good. This. Highly recommended, easy to clean, easy to use, and it's been rock solid for at least five, six years for me. So, I don't know. They're not sponsoring this video. I can just say I'm a loyal customer because they make decent shit. Thank you, Hot Logic. Keep coming out with new stuff. I don't know. Nice zippers. They changed this. This looks even better.